Folks, Bob Desmond here, and welcome to our top five stocks to watch this coming week. What we'll be talking about is, A, how did we do last week? How did those trades perform? We did a lot of analysis on it, some really good feedback. How did we do? Were we accurate? Did we get it wrong? And of course, we'll then segue over and into our top five stocks for the new trading week. We'll do some technical analysis on them, but a little bit of housekeeping first. Of course, Monday is President's Day holiday. Markets will be closed. The however is, is that normally we do Sunday night futures live. The futures will be open tomorrow night, 2.15. This says reopens at 5 p.m. This is Central Standard Time. So we will be live 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Use the link below to click the reminder. Subscribe to the channel. Also below, we're giving away Bob's five most powerful video tutorials. Just click that link. If you want to get notified 15 minutes to a half hour to us going live, simply use this link here. If you're on any one of these other links, don't enter. You're going to get alerted anyway 15 minutes to a half hour prior to us going live. We hate spam too. Don't enter your name twice because it would drive me crazy. And before we begin our analysis of last week's five top stock picks and next week's five top stock picks, I want to introduce you to our friends over at TrendSpider. They sponsor us. We use their software. They helped us identify these opportunities that we'll be reviewing. Don't settle for ordinary trading software. This is next level stuff. Algorithms, automated technical analysis, which all help you to automate your grunt work, speed up your analysis, and improve your accuracy. No sense in speeding up your analysis if you're not improving your accuracy as well. The money is made on the buy. Time your trades with precision. And timing your trades with precision allows you to reduce costly analytical mistakes. And I'll show you how to use the alerts, which help you get down that path to avoid those costly mistakes. And the scanners help you find winning chart setups. So don't wait. Sign up. Seven-day free trial offer. There's a link below. 35% off. The lowest price on the web. If you go to their website, they have a demo. Seven-day free trial offer. And of course, we give it away free to our silver and gold level members and for those folks who already have trend spider yet they want to join we have an option for you simply use this link here 100 dollars for a three month trial offer for gold light all the benefits of gold but you're not paying the premium for trend spider click the link and you're good to go let's get to it so last week our best stock charts were snap pins general dynamics rent a center and zoom let's go through all of them general dynamics weekly chart this was a buy on our list last week it closed up on the week by three spots six seven percent note the weekly breakout very nice i'm still bullish on this name but keep in mind that when you use the automated trend lines this is how you stay out of trouble be aware click of a button be aware that you have resistance right at 168.26 now you can see i already have an alert set here all right, I want to know when we pull back to a retest of the breakout point entering at that level, which is at around 160 per share. Entering at that level gives me enough breathing room between support and this resistance level just mentioned. So GD remains on our watch list. The next chart up, Zoom, weekly chart, it closed up 2.94% on the week. We were waiting for a breakout. We got the breakout. Ideally, I would have liked to have seen a pullback to my support level where I have an alert set. As you can see here, it did not fire off, but perhaps we'll get a retest of support next week. So we're good to go here. We set it, we forget it until our alerts fire off. Trend Spider keeps us out of trouble. Again, it goes back to timing your trades with precision, using the alerts, and reducing costly analytical mistakes. The next chart up snap from last week we were bullish what did it do last week it did make a new weekly high but it failed to hold it we did not chase it on the new weekly high this is why we wait for pullbacks to support levels to validate what was resistance back here should now act as support so we have our alert set here if and when it does fire off well then we'll be looking to enter the long side but no rush pins we closed out the week up last week, three spot, two one percent. We were bullish last week. We remain bullish. We had an alert set up, looking for a retest of the breakout point. Came close, no cigar. 
Is it possible that we get it this coming week? Sure, anything's possible. But what I do find interesting is that you have one week of topping action, wick, shadow, call it cupcakes, it doesn't matter. It's a sign of profit taking. You had another one last week where we closed off the highs of the week. I want to do this. I want to know when we close above that resistance level. And should we close above 87.28, we would look to add. If we were able to get in where our alert is set at around $75 per share, could be 76, but close enough. Or open. We may need to open. We may need to pay up on a breakout. That's okay. And we'll keep that active for a while. So we have two alerts set here on pins. Very interesting. And the last one from last week was RCII. It broke out. Our alert fired off. We had another alert set down here that did not fire off, but this breakout is very attractive. So I want to remove this alert because it's already broken through. Now I want to look for a retest. Touch, bounce. I want to make sure that what was resistance back here is now going to act as support. And we're good to go. Rent the center was up 6.8%. So uh, we did a, a, a nice job. Four of the five that we identify as being bullish chart patterns were, in fact, very bullish. The score for new weekly highs was 100%. All made new weekly highs. The one exception that couldn't hold it, snap, which pulled back. Now, the new charts for the new trading week will be FFTY, PWR, HLT, NTCT, and DOCU, D-O-C-U. Let's get to them. All right, so looking at this chart off the bat, I would say, man, this thing looks ready to continue to rock and roll. It's a very powerful chart. For those not familiar with the FFTY, these are the top 50 stocks in terms of technicals. And fundamentals as identified by investors business daily i'm a huge fan of that publication and i think we could all agree looking at this chart here volume was good price action we closed out the week at the highs of the week a beautiful breakout of a three-week consolidation nothing not to like here but should you be concerned what are you missing simple click a button take note the automated trend line feature identifies resistance that's what we close right at on friday right at 49 41 and we have another resistance level above that mark at 51 spot 09 now you may be saying oh boy let's avoid this not necessarily if we consolidate retest the breakout point keep a little bit of sensitivity on here that'll be our opportunity we'll keep this active for let's go with 10 days I want to know if we touch, bounce, and we are good to go. So from a risk-reward perspective, we do not want to go buying where we closed on Friday. Let's allow it to pull back. Let's let some of the froth come off. Could be an intraday pullback. Close at new all-time highs on, on Tuesday. Remember that the markets are closed on Monday. The next chart up, PWR, Quanta Services. Now, we had a rough week the week of the 25th of January, but a really good reversal bar the week of February the 1st. A continuation move up higher last week. The problem is this, is that we have resistance above. Again, automated trend lines. They are your friend, believe me. And there you go. So what I want to do is this. I want to set up my two alerts. If we get a pullback, and believe me, they usually come. It may take some time. And this functionality is great for those that, and this functionality, setting alerts, being able to set it and forget it, is great for those with the awareness that their impulsiveness can sometimes get them into trouble. And especially if you're working a day job and you don't have time to stare at charts, set your alerts, set them, and forget them. When they fire off, they'll hit your email, text. I also want to know if we break out, no sensitivity. All I care about is a close above that resistance level. And there we're, we're good to go. So P o, PWR, we're all set up. HLT, Hilton, weekly chart. No breakout here, but I think we're going to get it. You can see with the automated trend lines, I'm going to take them off, bring them back on, that we have resistance way up here at, let's call it, by the time we get up there, this is, this is an ascending line. So we'll be at 140, 141. Uh, we closed out the week at 112, 14. I mean, Great risk-reward entry play here. So what we want to do is we want to see a new weekly high or a retest of this breakout point. HLT is looking really rock solid. 
It's had a nice, strong base. So our alert is set. We're now good to go. The next chart up is NTCT, NetScout, weekly chart. A beautiful breakout last week above that 31.13 mark. You have a bit of a volume shelf. I'm going to move this up higher. A bit of a volume shelf up here at 31.44. I like that. I would like to see a retest. Our alert is now set. We're good to go here. Trend spiders telling us, again, automated trend lines off, on. We have resistance up at around 34 bucks a share. The last chart up is going to be Docu. DocuSign. Love this chart. Love it. Very close to a breakout on a weekly time frame. So what we're looking for here, and folks, I went over this, all these charts with members on the week ahead commentary posted in the members area where we go over the daily charts, weekly charts, monthly charts when necessary. Okay, so we want to know when we break out above this resistance level, we'll keep this active. Let's go with six days, even better. Let's go with 10 days, just in case we pull back. So our alert is set. And we're good to go. Hey, folks, don't forget, take advantage, Trend Spider. Use that link below. Automated technical analysis, scanning, trade alerts. And don't forget to join us tomorrow night for Sunday Night Futures Live. Set the reminder. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And here are all your links below so we can stay in contact. Everybody have a really great remainder of your weekend. I hope to talk to you tomorrow night. And until then, be well.